Hello everybody and welcome to the next video of my YouTube channel. So this video will have strategies and tips and tricks of what I learned and how I prepared for my placements. Now there were a few things which nobody will tell you but I will because I learned it through a lot of resources and I think people of third years, third year should know this. Okay, so to begin with, I started my preparation in around November, October, November like core preparation around October, November 2020. So I started with, uh, I'll put in the links of everything I'm talking about and I'll give you a proper guide of what I followed. Okay, so I started with C++, like I had learned the basics. I started learning the basic in September, October. So I learned the basics. I started with the data structures in October, November. I focused on DSA because it was my weak part. You can start with your weak part because you want to strengthen it and you have less time, okay? So how I prepared was that I gave 15 days or one week to each data structure I liked. Okay, I studied from this one course of C++ from Apna College. I used many other resources of the Love Power 450 sheet and then other resources, roadmaps and other resources. There were a lot of things I referred to and I'll put in the links for each and everything. So I gave 15 days of DSA to 15 days for each and every data structure. Okay, basics. Always remember, start with the basics. This took me around two to three months and January, February, tak, I was very sure that because I was starting off, I didn't keep a very high aim. Okay, so I was very sure that I'll make my binary st trees strong. Uske aage, I know or I don't know, it doesn't matter. I will make my concepts till binary trees very very strong. So I did it till heaps. I never went to graph or dynamic programming because I felt ki how much ever I do, I need to be strong in it. Okay, so this was my approach because I was starting late. September, October is late. If you want a super dream, you need to work hard. Okay, so I started with uh, I started with arrays. I did 40 questions. Then I went to string. I did 40 questions. Now, how to solve a question? So when you are on a question, okay, first of all, if somebody is beginning or is learning the basics or even scaling up, it will feel tough. So read the question. So stay in the question for one hour, one and a half hour. Now, because you do not have a lot of time, do not invest four or five hours or one, two days in that question. Do it, take hints, move on to the next question. Take hints, watch a video on YouTube, move on to the next question. I, what I did was I trained my mind a certain set of patterns. I trained my mind pattern for arrays and strings and link lists and stack and queues that this situation is like this. This situation is like this. So how it helped me was my brain knew that I have to solve, if this situation comes up, I'll have to apply this and then use logic or common sense to find another point, another solution. So this is how I approached. This is also called supervised learning in machine learning. That was just an addition. So this is how I approached to a problem. Now, when you are strong with data structures, I touched, I did OS in March, 15 days thoroughly. I had referred gate smashers. He's a god. Okay. So I had referred gate smashers. After that, I went to networks. Okay. First, make your basics very strong. Like only making your basics strong will get you through the interview and the coding test. Practicing and making your basics strong. So OS may don't go very deep, but for once study the subject properly. So continue the DSA. Never stop practicing the DSA. Then in March, I did OS 15 days. Uske baad I did networks 15 days. Then I did OOPS 15 days and 15, 15 days ka batch. I gave to each topic and then I did it 15 days of DBMS. DBMS I also solved from Hackerank. Okay, now how I de did these topic apart from gate smashers, again, you'll get it in the link below. Look at the description section. Okay, so this is how I split it. Now, uh, when I reached June, okay, I was pretty strong with my basic. I was also rejected in one interview in June, uh, which was my internships interview, June or mid July somewhere. And then I knew more that I need to make my basics more strong. So there were two, three questions I could not answer. So I went back again, I revised, but I did not move further because 
till that time now you won't even feel like studying so do not keep studying for placements once your placements start you will not feel like studying there you will get really really busy a lot of companies come in and you won't study so keep studying for before the placements and you need to give time to it every day so this is how i did and then i uh, i made my basics strong and then i gave my interview in august so this was the whole process of how i studied and how i broke down my uh, structure of studying and how i approached whenever i got stuck in a question wherever i had doubts i either used to watch youtube videos or i used to take help of my friends because they are amazing <laughs> so this was the whole structure now let's talk about tips and tricks nobody will tell you okay so the tips and tricks nobody will tell you is number 1 aptitude and puzzles are important as much as you give less preference to it as you proceed you will know how important aptitude is you might prepare for the entire months for dsa and this subject and that subject and you might just get into bain where everything is aptitude or you might get into deloitte or you might get into any other company which has its basics in aptitude because remember you do not know which company you are going to get into so do not ignore aptitude and puzzles do not give a lot of time to it but give like one hour uh, in around june or i started in june or around april april june whenever like whenever you feel ki ha itna time is enough but get time to it speed is very important and so is accuracy second thing take mock interviews take mock interviews with your friends take mock interviews or interview bit take mock interview with your seniors or anybody who has gone through this process or is going through this process it will really help you calm your nerves and go through it very smoothly it will prepare you on how to answer it should not be like they'll ask you what is oops and you're like uh uh, uh, uh oops uh, okay i i have studied this should not happen so always remember take mock interviews we are never trained to take mock interviews nobody talks about mock interviews nobody takes mock interviews unko lagta hai pad liya bas bahut hai but taking mock interviews really really help the third thing which nobody will tell you is do not jump on dynamic programming see understand dsa is also a journey you will need to go through the basics be very very strong with your basics you should know arrays and strings medium level at least like very strongly you should know ki stacks ko array se how will you implement stack through arrays how will you implement queue through arrays how will you implement linked list through any another data structure this is the very basics okay how will you do binary structure like uh, binary trees how will you traverse in a binary tree this is very basic so even if you do all the data structures very basic 10 20 standard questions and train your mind to understand how it all works it's enough do not rush do not do like 300 questions of dynamic programming and graph and this and that and bit manipulation but you when there is a question in front of you you do not even know how to approach so do not believe in just solving the question believe in understanding the question logic wise and approaching the solution because a lot of time interviewers will not even want you to code all they will see is how you approach to the question so that is very 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 important the fourth point is placement is a marathon it's not a sprint so take it one day at a time consistency is the key solve daily study daily even if there is no time because i know tumhare semesters honge and you have a thousand of commitments but you if you do not commit to study and if you do not take time out for studying do not expect a lot okay so be very consistent be a part of this marathon till the end with a lot of positivity it's very 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 important the fifth point is kehte hai na ki hum sab na एक ही कश्ती के सवारी है सो डो नॉट फील स्मॉल बाई टेकिंग हेल्प फ्रॉम अदर्स सी देर विल बी अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल अराउंड यू हु नो अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ मोर देन यू यू माइट गेट इंटिमिडेटेड यू माइट गेट ओवरवेल्म बट इट्स आर सिंपल एज दैट डो नॉट टेक हेल्प फ्रॉम देम आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम देम आस्क हाउ दे स्टडी लाइक वेन आई डो नॉट नो हाउ टू स्टडी even how to study how to organize how to approach a question how to even study this topic or that topic take help because there is always somebody better than you you can learn from and there will always be somebody who can learn from you 
सो मेक इट अ ट्राइंगल मेक इट अ प्रोसेस टेक हेल्प फ्रॉम ईच एंड एवरीबडी ओके ईच एंड एवरीबडी हु कैन गाइड यू सो डू नॉट फील स्मॉल एंड डू नॉट फील नर्वस की देर फील दैट यू आर डम्ब बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज डम्ब एंड एवरीबडी इज स्मार्ट इन समबडीज एल्स इज परस्पेक्टिव सो बी वेरी frank about asking for opinions feedbacks and uh, as much as to how to study from each other share your schedules code together it will really help you maintain the consistency the sixth point is that aim high aim very very high as much as you want based on how much you know but expect less see this is a harsh truth but you do not know what is going to happen you do not know how the placements are going to turn up for you okay there are amazing people who land up at tcs but do saal mein like or in the span of 3 4 5 years they end up at google because consistency is what leads them if you are sure you want a placement and you want to stay in this sector then aim very high but expect less because you are competing with another set of 4000 students you do not know anything about and you do not know how luck favors you also vit has very strict placement rules if you get a super dream you cannot apply for a dream super dream internship you cannot apply for a dream if you apply for a dream you cannot like if you get selected in dream you cannot apply like there is a whole plethora of restrictions okay if you take off campus you won't get on campus now what if on off campus you get a 20000 rupees internship and you want more you won't be able to take it other than the fact you won't inform the college but like the fact is that always aim high and expect less because you do not know what is going to happen also during the placements take care of yourself yaar sabko job lag jayegi you are in vit and you will get a good placements also you do not know which company you are going to get into so please please don't get overwhelmed take care of yourself like talk to friends around you okay i'll make a whole separate video because i did a lot of stuff in this pandemic to take care of myself during the placements which helped me because uske alawa i would have gone insane totally insane so take care of yourself you will get a good placements everybody is together and never one point i forgot to talk about is that there is no shortcut to hard work okay never forget this you will have to study theek hai there might be luck playing a role you might be feeling that oh isko kaise mil gaya oh this person does not even know this thing and he got into microsoft oh this person doesn't know but he got such a good super dream placement but you do not know how much hard work they have put at the back okay there is no shortcut to hard work in studying and coding coding is like learning any other language if you learn spanish you need to give it time you need to give it a commitment because you are learning or you are training your mind to learn a new thing so do not expect quick results and do not expect shortcuts to work test mein chal jayega you will clear tests but you won't be able to clear an interview if you choose shortcut and also you won't feel that satisfaction or you won't be able to work what if you clear everything but you get into the company and you are like i don't like this thing i much have prepared for aptitude and gone for an analytics company you do not know that is why like choose what you are applying for be very firm about what you want and what you do not want and work hard for that like tum kitne bhi doston ki help le lo interview ko ek second nahi lagega ye pata karne mein ki tum kitne pani mein ho aur tum kitne pani ke upar ho so that is what the whole point is that work hard and there is no shortcut take help do whatever you want but work hard so that is all for this video thank you so much for watching this video again um i might have missed some points if you have any other doubts or suggestions or feedback you can leave in the comment section below till then we'll meet in the next video tata bye bye thank you so much